Hi guys, Dr. Linda Kramer. Thank you so much for watching me. Okay, I'm back in the city today doing another day at university with my daughter, but I thought I'd take the opportunity to do a question about heaven. So I've gone into the botanical gardens and I've found this spot. I just want to show you, I am off the beaten path. There's a little path here behind me, but I found this little spot. It's got a little waterfall and it goes down into the lake at the bottom of the hill. Okay, so right now I'm sitting at the top of the waterfall. So you can see the waterfall here. Okay, and it goes down through the rocks. Okay, so I'm gonna put this down because now I've got some running water behind me. So that's awesome. I'm just gonna put my camera here. So, cause you know, you guys wanna see the water, right? So here we go. Whoops, I'm just gonna stabilize my phone. Okay, so. Here I am in the city today and I'm doing a question about heaven and to now we get all the wildlife involved. <laughs> I hope you can hear this guys, it's gorgeous in here. You know, I'm only about a hundred feet from 100 storey high rise apartments. There's a lot of the birds. Okay, so Peter from Victoria, Australia. If heaven is so great, and so full of love, etc. How can loved ones come through so angry? How is it possible? Okay. So how do they come through angry? It's because when we go home to heaven, we're now connected back to our soul, right? So when spirits, which are the ones who go through home, when they come back to us, they take on the persona of the life that we know them to be. So then we get that confirmation that it's them, okay? I don't wanna see a World War II soldier coming through or a medieval knight coming through. I wanna connect with my grandfather. So when he comes through as my grandfather, cause you know, we've gotta remember, some of us have had millions of lives so when he comes through, that soul, because it may not always be male, right? But when it comes back through, they take on the persona of that person who they were. So if someone in life was pessimistic, angry, upset, frustrated, that's how they come back. So then we know that it's them, okay? It doesn't mean that's how they are now, they just show us that reflection of who they were. So then we get that confirmation, okay? So, um, answer. The answer I've written down here is yes. It's due to that emotional connection. So they appear as they were in life, okay? So a lot of anger when they were alive, they'll come back and show us that anger so we know it was them. All right, so there you go. Um, so that's from Peter in Victoria, Australia. <coughs> Please know guys, um, if you do have a question that you want me to answer as a question about heaven, please email me and I'm gonna put my description in the comments below, okay? So I hope that that explains it. I was out at this house one day and a lady said, can you tell me if my husband's still around? And I said, yeah, he's popping in. He was popping in because that's what it is. It's a pop of, inform of information. And I said, he's popping in and he's telling me this. He's doing this in his armpit. And I said, what does that mean, doing this? And she said, oh, he had a really big lump in his um, right armpit. This is my right side, by the way. So she was, t so he was showing me where he had this huge lump, so then his wife would know that it was him. Does that make sense for you guys? I hope it does, okay? So there you go. I'm gonna do a few of these while I'm sitting here. So there you go. So that's the one from Peter in Victoria. So thank you so much, Peter, for asking. And I hope that that gives us a little inclination about when they do pop in, it's not their soul, they only come through representing the one life that they led, okay? So thank you so much for watching and stay tuned. I've got heaps of these. And if, you, if again, you want a question about heaven, 
please email it to me. The description is below. Thank you so much. Bye.